Hi, I'm Captain Jim Hanley out on Lake Erie today doing a little bottom bouncing just on a day off. It's really rocking and rolling out here, so forgive the unsteady camera. But uh, having a good time out with my buddy Joe and uh, bottom bouncing. So I figured I'd show you a little of the techniques we're using and how to, how to actually crank in a walleye without losing it the right way. And just a few tips on successful bottom bounce. And I'm just watching around me because there's some boats in front of us and behind us here. And uh, come along for the ride. So when putting a crawler on your harness, put the first hook that's closest to the, to the blade through the very tip of the hook, the very tip of the crawler, I mean. And then the second hook is going to go down below the collar. So it's on that harness nice and straight so it keels through the water real nice that's very important so now letting it in you want to throw it in there you want to make sure that your harness is back behind your bottom bouncer see it back there working away and very slowly let the line out all right here's something really important walleye fishing is all about keeping pressure on them rod tip high slow steady crank keeping the pressure on if you don't keep pressure on walleye you will lose them every time so we're gonna get this guy right alongside the boat and then i'll go for the net let's see he's coming up here he comes here he comes oh it's another nice one let's see if we can net him and keep going here Put them in there head first, and we got another nice Walter. It's all about depth, speed, size, and color, and you will be successful. Here's something very important when bottom bouncing. I run lighter weights in the back, usually two ounce lighter than the ones in the front. So I've got five ounces in the back, and I'm running seven ounces in the front to keep away from each other it's always very important to let them out just the right distance slow and easy i can't stress that enough slow and easy five in the back seven in the front or six and eight or three and five whatever it is always two ounces different so you don't catch your back weight with your front so once again steady retrieve don't stop cranking ever <laughs> don't stop cranking when you get that wall in just keep the pressure on him. Even if it feels like he's ripping it out of your hand, slow and steady. Keep the rod bent. Nice, nice rod bend. It's constant cranking because as soon as you stop, you will catch a big smallmouth. All right, we catch them all on harnesses. I love it. Let's see, what does it look like? It looks like a big Walter. See so get him in here. Yeah, we, we got him. I got him. Pull him to me. There you go. <laughs> he's in. I think he's in. <laughs> there we go. I had a little little limp wrist uh, action there on that guy. What color blade works today? Whatever color blade you got on. If you're bottom bouncing and you're in the right spot, it doesn't really matter. I use nuclear corn beads, two small, uh, owner hooks, a number two and a number four, six, six beads, a harness, and that's what you catch, some nice walleye. Yeah, putting together right, you can put together a nice box of walleye. All right, here's something that's important for me in bottom bouncing is to have a soft rod. So in other words, soft action, it bends all the way from the tip to the butt. Because walleye with those paper mouths and the small hooks that I use, it's very important to use a rod that will flex throughout. Because when they surge, because I use braided lines, so that takes away a little of the uh, stretch that you have for monofilament. So I want to be able to have this rod flex really good. Bottom bouncing, baby. Since I can't get to the net, let's just haul him in. Let's see what it is. It's pulling pretty hard here. Let's see what we got. What do you think, Joe? 
Wow, another big smallie. Woo, look at that. Smallmouth, love night crawlers too. Here, I'm gonna get the nuts so we don't hurt this guy. We'll put them back. I love it. Let's see him. Oh, that's a pretty one. Yeah, baby. All right, so if you do those bottom bouncing tricks, run the lines, lighter weights in the back, usually two ounces lighter than the ones you're running in the front, Real slow and easy when you get the fish on the line. Steady cranks, no pumping the rods, no setting the hooks. Use smaller hooks, make sure you put those uh, crawlers on your line nice and straight. And you will load your box every day. This is Captain Jim Hanley. Hey, don't forget to get out and enjoy all that was created for you and take a moment to look up and give thanks. See you next time.